Vermilion County is a place filled with manufacturing. Indeed, this weekend, people in the community have a chance to go behind the scenes during a tour of industries. Ryan Burke went to the assembly line for some of these companies to see how their products are made in Illinois, which is really cool because this is not a place people get to go all the time. No, and this, they're kind of doing a doors open Danville, if you will, where yeah. you actually get to see it. And one of the places that we got to check out was TriGuard. And what TriGuard does is they make metal plaques and signs. Now they do everything from memorials for funerals that go to grave sites to plaques commemorating sports championships. Mm. And as I found out, it's done in a very high-tech way that's made in Illinois. Whether it's honoring a big win, preserving American history, or helping honor a loved one who's passed, these plaques, large and small, all start here, among the giant CNC machines at TriGuard in Danville. Uh, it's always something new. Um, we always say that we're just the sky's the limit, um, so it's, it's tough for at times to, to take that sky's the limit and, and, and narrow that down into a, a plaque or a trophy. Brothers Ross and Ethan Darby are in charge of this giant plaque operation, and the business began in a way you might not expect through their family history in the funeral industry. Our family is um, originally from Detroit, um, and in the early 60s we moved down here and purchased the cemetery. Um, and then our cemetery kind of spawned off into the burial vaults as well. Just from working on the grounds, they're able to see and um, wanted the quality of those burial vaults to go up a little bit. So we actually started producing plastic liners and actually pouring um, our own vaults as well. It's something that eventually led to producing their own memorial plaques and eventually expanding beyond memorials to include signs of all kinds. It's something they say has been an exciting challenge. For now, uh, my brother and I have been in it for our whole life, so. Um, go, going from something that we know really well and do every day to something that is totally different, it's a totally different industry. Um, we're selling to the direct end customer, which is something we don't do a whole lot of as a supplier. Um, so it's been, it's been interesting for us how to market, uh, how to sell, who to sell to. While you might expect to see metalwork with lots of sparks, it's actually a process that's very high tech and can be done in just a few steps. So once the order is uh, received from our customer service team, we then pass that order on to our designers. We have a great design team here, very creative. Um, sometimes they do a lot with just a little bit of information. And what they want to do is they want to create a proof that's going to show the customer what the end product's going to look like. So what they'll do is they'll take the customer's information and they'll put it into a format, you know, whatever size or shape or colors or whatever they want to see. After the design is complete and the customer likes it, the next step is to program it into the giant CNC machines. The file then moves into what we call our build programming. So what our build programmers do is they tell the CNC machines what tools to use. We have over 11 different tools that we use um, to create the different depths and the different uh, fonts, textures, shapes, and things like that that we want to show. Um, so they'll tell the machines what tools to use. They'll tell them how many tool paths to take over a certain product to get the crisp, nice, sharp letters that we're looking for. Um, they, they tell the CNC machines when to lower and when to raise to create that depth. It's time to get engraving. Once the build file we just showed you was created, then we move into the CNC area where the CNC machines actually do their work. So what we do is, is a deductive process. So we get our bronze in and flat sheets, and we actually remove material to get detail. So when you're going from a build file to an actual product, we got to be able to tell the CNC machines where to move, when to move, and how to move. Determining just how intricate the design is really has an effect on how long it takes to produce. Some of the simpler designs take just a few hours, but other complicated ones, like this replica of the Constitution, can take up to 30 hours to produce. After the engraving is done and things have been sandblasted, it's time to be painted or printed. We can uh, take them in to be printed and add full color to our plaques or memorials. And we could also do a more uh, traditional oxi oxidation process where the natural bronze is actually highlighted through what we call an oxidation process. It's basically an oxide powder. And then she can go through and highlight all the, all the uh, high areas to show the natural bronze. It's how the process works. And whether it's NASCAR, plaques at a stadium, or a memorial for a family member, 
the Darbys and TriGuard are proud they can make them close to home. Our family just, we, we, we're family owned, family operated, and we try to, like to treat our uh, employees just like that as well. Treating employees and customers like family, all while keeping it made in Illinois. Now, the tour of industry begins this Saturday starting at 9 a.m. The tours are 30 minutes long, and the cool thing is you don't have to pre-register for this. You can go check it out and check out all the different places and make it a last-minute thing. So if you want more information on the tour of industries, you can head on over to our website, ciliving.tv. You get to go behind the scenes, and yeah. sometimes they're even hiring. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, bring your resume. Great way to see a little of everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come